prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. Got a video for you guys today. Um, sorry, life's been really busy lately, so I haven't been uploading videos at the same frequency after the new year. But don't worry, I'll get back to it. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about the Microsoft Surface RT. I've had one for a while and I've been playing around with it. And to be honest, I've been having a real hard time differentiating it from like other things like the iPad, you know, because I already have a keyboard for my iPad. Um, I have a Google Nexus 7, I have a Bluetooth keyboard for that. So the keyboard really wasn't the separating factor for me. Um, the kickstand, I mean, yeah, it's it's cool, but you know, it just wasn't a differentiating factor. So I really, I really didn't want to do a review until I found something the Surface did that really gave it a niche and, and kind of made it a cut above the rest for one thing. And I found that and that's why we're doing a video today. And you know what that thing is? Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Be nice if I unwrapped the cable before I did this. The Xbox 360 controller for the PC. This is arguably one of the best controllers ever created for any console, um, at least I think so. And just so you guys know, I own a PlayStation 2. I'm not, you know, I'm not just saying that because I only own an Xbox. But uh, the Surface RT has a USB port on the side of it. So somebody asked me the other day, they are like, well, what would you plug into that? And I was like, uh, you know, I really didn't know. And they're like, well, I, I think the Xbox controller works with it. And I was like, what? So I was like, I had to try it for myself. So over here, you got a USB port right on the side. Plug it in. Here you can see the controller. It's uh, blinking. And there you go, player one. No shit, there's actually drivers in box for Windows 8 Surface RT ARM, so that the ARM processor, for the freaking Xbox controller. And not only that, but the freaking Xbox controller works. I mean, and it works really well. So I downloaded a game called Soulcraft. It's just one of many games I was toying around with on the marketplace. And uh, we'll go ahead and let it load up here. But uh, I was curious, like, do the games actually support the controller? Like, you know, because I've always wanted to use a controller, and I know you can do this, you can hack the iPad, to connect a controller to it using like an adapter for the USB port on the bottom and jailbreaking it and doing a whole bunch of shit. Um, the Nexus 7, you can do something similar. You can sync up a PlayStation 3 controller by rooting it and installing some third party software and all that shit. But this is the only tablet I've used where you can just plug an existing controller into the side of it and it just works. You don't have to hack shit. You don't have to read tutorials. You don't have to do anything. It's, it's actually inbox supported. So watch, we'll go ahead and click play here. Give you guys an idea and enter the game. Here we go. This is actually a pretty fun game if you haven't played it. Soulcraft. It's it's pretty much just a run run around and beat the shit out of everything kind of game. But you know, I like those sometimes. Um, and the screen actually looks really really good on the RT. It's not as high resolution as the iPad, but in my opinion, the black levels are really freaking good. So you can see here, I'm using the controller. I'm using the analog pad to move slow and to move fast. I can use uh, I can use the other pad to attack in any direction while I'm moving. So, and then I can cast spells and do magic and all kinds of stuff. Um, like now I'm a wisp. But this kind of, you know, I don't know. You guys might not see this as big of a deal as I did, but I got giddy when I saw this. I was like, holy shit, really? Because this is nice. It's a lightweight system now that I can install games on. And I can just take somewhere and I can just bust it out, connect a controller to it. I can sit in the car and set it on my lap and use the controller. Games are just better with a controller. I, you know, unless you're playing Words with Friends or, you know, Zombie Farmer or whatever the hell that game's called, um, you know, something made by Zanga, it just, it, it's not that cool to play without a controller. You just feel like you're severely limited, especially in things where you have a D-pad and buttons on the screen. Because, like, what's that about? I mean, it doesn't, you, you need that tactile feel to really play, in my opinion. Um, so this is the first level of coolness right here, guys. So, so the first part of the video right here is check it out. You can connect a damn Xbox 360 controller to your Surface and it works. Why the hell this isn't advertised, I don't know. Like, this should be like on the front of the box of the Surface. It should be like compatible with the Xbox controller, use your Xbox controller to play games. Xbox, you know? But, uh, but they don't. So, so I was really, really, when I saw that, that was awesome. I was like, oh my God, now the Surface actually is a contender. So, it gets better. So, for you retro gamers out there, I was looking in the marketplace, and I found SNES 8X. Well, that just happens to be a ported Super Nintendo emulator that they took from the PC, converted it to ARM, and got it approved in the, in the marketplace that you can download for free. It's a Super Nintendo emulator on the freaking, uh, you know, Microsoft Surface. Um, now, where and how you get the ROMs, that's, that, that's up to you. I wouldn't know nothing about that. But... 
The cool thing is, it freaking supports the Xbox controller too. So far, everything I've played that I've downloaded has used the Xbox controller with like the exception of one or two things. So let's go ahead and load a ROM that might have magically showed up from the internet somewhere. Super Mario World. Yeah, remember Super Mario World? You can play it on your freaking Surface now. So there you have it. So, you know, it might not seem like much, but I am I love retro games. If you guys go back far enough in my video history, you'll see I did a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out emulator video on the same huge surround setup here in the background. Um, but this is just cool. So there I am. You know, I can push start. Okay, I want to go player A. Let's go ahead and start one game. The one thing is the surface volume level isn't very high. Even cranked to the max, you can barely hear it. So... Uh, just, just you know, fair warning. If you get a Surface, you're probably gonna want headphones because the speakers they're just they're they're not loud at all. So there, there you go. I've got I've got my controller. I can use my D-pad or I can use my analog stick, right? And it runs really, really nice. Oop. Sorry, guys. I'm not as good at these games as I used to be. Oh, I think that's a mushroom. Oh, no, it's Yoshi. Okay, go get on Yoshi. The one thing I will notice is not in the other games, but in the emulator, there is a slight controller lag. I'm sure that they'll fix this with future revisions of the emulator. You gotta remember, this is a really new platform. Um, and the lag is hardly noticeable. Most people wouldn't even notice it, but I can just notice just a slight couple of millisecond lag, almost like a wireless mouse would give you. It's almost insignificant, but it's just something I wanted to mention, um, just in case any of you guys ran into. But there we are, Yoshi eating some apples. And then the Nintendo emulator. You can just swipe down. You can save and load your states. You can select which state you want so you can have multiple saved games. Um, you know, let's, let's load another one. Let's Super Punch Out. It's another one of my all time favorite Super Nintendo games. And there you go, Super Punch Out. You can see you got the buttons on the screen and you got the D pad. So you can also play on the screen if you want. But I tried playing uh, Punch Out on the screen and it didn't work out too well. So here we go. With the controller, you're a you're hundred times better. Like the first time I played this when I downloaded the emulator was I uh, tried to use the on-screen D-pad and the controls and I wasn't very effective. I actually got my ass kicked by Gabby J. Um, but with the controller, you don't. Come on, buddy. Work the body, work the body. See, now you can move really fast. Actually, I don't notice any lag in this game. Uh, the controller lag must have only been in Mario. Super Punch. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, punch him. Ah, oh, damn. I'm getting tired. Come on, punch him down. Punch him down. Come on, buddy. I'm going to super punch his ass. Boom. Oh, and I missed. Work the body. Work the body. All right, well, that's enough of that. Let's load another ROM here. Uh, let's see, Zelda. Link to the Past, right? That's another giddy. Now, the emulator's still really new. I was still shocked to see an emulator in the marketplace because without a jailbreak, you can't download an emulator on iPad. And Android, I know, has a couple emulators you can download. But if you want to use a controller, you got to root the damn device and sync a PlayStation controller and load drivers and modules and shit that not a lot of a lot of people really know how to do. Uh, this is cool because this is just supported. You know, I got the app from the marketplace. I get the games from the marketplace. I just plug the controller and it just syncs up and works. Now, there is a little bit of a bad thing. I got to warn you guys. If you unplug the controller and plug it back in, it'll sync up the player too and then it doesn't work in the games anymore and you have to reboot the Surface. But I'm sure that that's just some kind of an Xbox driver thing. It could be something that I configured wrong too. Um, but I just figured that I would warn you guys. But honestly, uh, you know, I, I don't really care. You know, to reboot the Surface only takes like about a minute. So, so you know, if I want to play a game with my controller, it's not a big deal at all. So, there you got Zelda A Link to the Past. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video. We're not going to keep this really long. But here you have it. The Surface RT with an Xbox 360 wired controller plugged right into the side of it that I just took right off my Xbox. It's nothing special. And the damn thing just works. And it works in quite a few of the games. Um, 
and I don't know, I just find that freaking amazing. So guys, leave your comments. I love to hear what you guys think about my videos. Uh, let me know what you think about the Surface RT. Let me know if this in any way changes your mind on how you felt about it, because it certainly changed my mind a lot. Uh, being able to have a, you know, a gaming platform like this that you can carry around and connect an actual controller to that you don't have to hack. Because the thing is, when you jailbreak shit, it never updates right after that, and you know, you end up just going down a down a steep slope, and you know, I don't like it. So I like just leaving the stuff stock. So the fact that this just works out of the box, I don't have to modify the controller, I don't have to build a special dongle, you know, none of that shit. It just plugs in and it works, and I think that that's absolutely really cool. And I hope that Microsoft at some point, uh, you know, broadens the support for the controller and starts using the keypad because the keypad does not work. I'll, I'll warn you that right now. If you try to type using the controller keypad, it actually doesn't work. Um, I hope that that gets fixed at some point. That would actually be really, really cool. Uh, and, you know, some other things would be cool if the controller actually would be supported as like a mouse cursor or navigating around the surface menus, because then you can just sit back with the thing on your coffee table and flip through menus and switch games and go back to the home screen. I mean, just it'd be cool if you, like, you push the center button and you went back to the home screen. You know, just, just some stuff I'm just throwing out there would be kind of cool. But in a nutshell, just the fact that you have a tablet right here that you can just plug an Xbox controller into, download a game and play, that's killer, man. Because I'll tell you what, the one thing I've always hated about tablets is the gaming experience. All I've ever played on tablets is like, uh, uh, like you know, Words with Friends and any game where it's basically touch friendly. But platformer games like this, Mario Brothers, Zelda, Contra, things like that, you got to have a controller, guys. So anyways, thanks again for watching one of my videos. I hope you guys check out my other videos. If you haven't liked, favorite, and subscribed, please do so. It helps my channel and gets my motivation up to create more of these videos for you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I respond to most of my comments that I see on my videos when I have time. So thanks again, guys. I hope this gave you an nerdgasm. Until next time.